eye. And your hairline is actually the frame of your face. Oh. And a lot of times our hairline gets weaker or we just have a fine hairline naturally. Sometimes medication can make our hair thin. Sometimes, um, you know, pregnancy, mm -hmm. um, thyroid problems. People that wear a lot of hair extensions and weaves have something called traction alopecia that thin out the hairline and stuff. I have overall thinness because I'm a guy who's lucky enough to have hereditary baldness. Uh, your hair is gorge. Well, no, uh, it might look gorgeous, okay, but, that's but the all that fact matters. is that I, <laughs> yeah, that's all that matters, that's, but yeah. in actuality, I use um, the salt and pepper color on my entire top of my head and including here and here. You know what? I appreciate you telling us that because I know that a lot of our beauty IQs are probably in a very similar situation. Yeah. And we're get, you're getting a lot of compliments on your hair in the chat. So I love the fact that you use this product on yourself. Absolutely, trust me, uh, my, my clients need it too. And I, know, I see a lot of people that do need it. But you know, if your face, if your hairline is creeping back or weak, your face shape is actually changing. And as we age, that, that happens to most of us. But with this, it's actually a cream and a powder, and it comes with a double-sided brush, Mm -hmm. So the shorter side is for the cream, the longer side is for the powder. Okay. Cream and powder equals staying power. Ah, so again, that's you cute. can use the powder by itself and it stays on amazingly. A lot of times I just use the powder by itself. Okay. But if you use the cream and then set it with the powder, it is locked on, it's water resistant, sweat proof. You could, like, I like to go to the beach. I like freedom. I don't want to be like cooped up and pray that it doesn't rain because I've had that happen to me with products that I used to use and I had a tie-dyed t-shirt after, afterwards. I couldn't believe, it was horrible. Right. Um, then I use other things that I sprinkled into my, the roots of my hair and I looked like I had sawdust on my head. Mm -hmm. And um, that wasn't a cute look either. So, so for the, the color that you use with, with your color hair there, you use the salt and pepper? I use the salt and pepper okay. because I'm so light and my hair color is naturally blonde. There you go. <laughs> no, but it's, um, I, it's an ashy color, so it's a pale, pale color. So if you're super, super blonde, you can use the salt and pepper Okay, also. perfect. So you get going. I'm going to tell you, you have blonde, brunette, black, and salt and pepper. And I assume, are you using the brunette on Amy here? This is actually the, the blonde. Oh, is it really? This is the blonde. Oh, okay. Now, it's not supposed to match your hair color. It's actually supposed to match the shadow that your hair creates with the lack of light, you know, I like gotcha. when it's in shadow. But just on the sides, like sometimes you can just dust it in on the sides. Even if you don't have overall thinning hair, sometimes you just have a weak hairline because especially when you pull your hair back, if you see right here, I'm just touching it in right in here. And the thing is like, sometimes people have pull their hair up into ponytails and yes. stuff in, or in an updo and then you have scalp showing and then you have to take it back down, repin it and figure it out. But this way, you could just touch it in and not have to redo your hair. Oh, perfect. So look. And sorry, are you using the powder there? This or? is the powder by itself. But like I said, if you want it to be really <gasps> locked down or if you have areas that have very little hair, like me. Yeah. Um, like a little, sometimes people at the crown, they've got thinning, you know, areas. So you could just use the, um, the cream as almost like a primer. It's not like you're painting your head. You just sketching it in really lightly to create a, a like a, a primer. base a primer yeah okay yeah, it's a primer basically for the powder to really adhere okay and even the powder by itself is super durable because most of the time i use the powder by itself well i clearly saw her scalp with the ponytail line earlier and i can't see it at all anymore it's amazing and sometimes even back here could be a little bit weak yep you know but this way you just fortify it and now it's it's nothing to even to be embarrassed of because really when you the amount of people that have thinning hair or sparseness is really you know a lot of people do especially right here the entrances of the hairline just dot it in you could strengthen the hairline in the front even we have some great questions in the chat right now uh, what color would you recommend for chestnut or ginger hair um, any kind of ginger or redhead would use the blonde okay um, if you've got a, if you've got really super dark hair, um, then I'd go for the black because it's a beautiful, dense, rich black. Um, and then if you're brunette and any kind of shade of medium to dark brunette, then you go with the brunette. Okay, and if you want to take a deeper dive into those shades, of course, you can go to beautyiq.com and check them out that way. So one thing that I'm really loving is that you are truly framing her face.
Um, so why is this more appealing to the eye? Well, as soon as you enrich your hairline and get rid of any weakness that might be, a, or thinning, you look younger, you look healthier, and it's just a more finished look. If you look at her face, it's the, the, the frame is now, it's defined. It, it's perfect. You know, and so <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's just a more finished look. It's all about the details. When I'm doing celebrities, it's not about making huge, giant changes all over the face. It's really about little tiny details that add up to a huge, magnified, gorgeous effect. Because okay. again, if you do any one thing too, too much, it draws the eye. But if you just do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you end up just looking like a natural, gorgeous, best you. Now, can we use this to color in our eyebrows? It's designed for your scalp. I do see you know, people comment to me and they say that they love it on their eyebrows and stuff. But um, I, have, I have other products for that that you could look up. Oh, Actually, okay. Amy is wearing on my brow champion in blonde. Yeah, you got some great brows. This looks awesome. Um, okay, so that's a really beautiful frame and we've had a lot of people in our chat saying we want to see her before and after. So just so you know, every product, this is her before and every product that we've used, you can only get here at Beauty IQ and our big sister company, QVC. Um, so now let's take a look at specifically at her scalp area because we've already, and her lip, okay, because those were the two that we've kind of worked on uh, recently. And so here's her after. Take a look at her scalp area. Look at that, how beautiful that hairline is now. Her actual hair in her ponytail actually looks thicker to me um, than it did in her before. And look at the beautiful pop of color on her lips. You had the choice there of the two nudes or, um, or the bold. So we're also going to take a look at Amy's side before. Now take a look specifically in between um, like her scalp right there when the ponytail's pulled back. And now take a look at her after how you don't see the scalp anymore. Isn't that amazing? It does. It makes her hair look thicker and fuller. It's beautiful. It's just one of those things that, that makes a huge difference and it finishes a look. It's all of those under the radar tricks that add up to be super duper fantastic divalicious. Divalicious. Yeah. We love it. And that was the blonde that we used on Amy and you have a couple choices there. Blonde, brunette, black or salt and pepper. So um, we're going to do a little work on me with the brunette. Oh, yeah? hey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I have um, this side of my hair okay. is a little bit <clears throat> thinner than this side. So you want it to be symmetrical. So, yeah. Okay. So can we see that, you mm -hmm. guys? You see, my let's, hair is... Here, wait, let, let's okay. show that real quick. Okay. My hair is super thin, and when you have large areas that you need to do, I just take a comb and I part through it, lay it down, part through it, lay it down, and I work through it that way. And I have to tell I'll you, I know I'm not so supposed to admit such disgusting things, but I don't, I take a shower two times a day, but I don't wash my hair every day. Oh, I'm the same as you. I don't wash my hair every day on purpose, but I do shower a lot. <laughs> yeah, so, it, but it lasts, you know, I... So this four, would last through the showers? This, like four uh. or five days, I, well, I, I usually don't wet it. Yeah. But you can, but let me just see how we're doing here. And now, are we only using the powder? Did we even... This is just the powder. I okay. can show you um, the cream and the powder on the other side if you'd like. Cool. So you could just see the difference. But it more has to do with the durability of it. And you know what? I have to be honest with you guys. So I, when I was a kid, I, I was really hyper. And I was doing gymnastics in the front yard. You were hyper? <laughs> Can't imagine. Shocking. <laughs> and I actually cracked my head open. Oh. Yeah. And so scar? I do. And my hair actually um, splits there now. So I'm always self-conscious of, I call it my little bald spot in the back. And so now I would have something to easily fill Absolutely. It. I'm going to show you after the show because you probably don't want to share that completely <laughs> with everybody right now. I mean. Let's do this side. I'm going to show you the cream also, okay? So this side's not as bad as the other, but there it is. You have see it. Yeah, just, but look. With the cream, literally, you take the shorter end of this double-sided brush. So here, brush. I'm going to hold this up so they can see what you're... Thank you. You just dot it in. You don't have to, like, be so meticulous about it. Just get it on the scalp. And then you take the powder. And so you're just flipping the brush to the other Flip side? to the longer side of the brush and you just set it with the pigmented powder. But setting it with a coordinated pigmented powder makes it so durable that you can't even believe it. And it looks totally natural. It's easy to do. It takes a minute, but it makes a huge difference. It's worth the time and the effort. I feel like this is a huge, huge, huge celebrity um, tip and trick that we're getting right now. And they're not going to really... share it. They're never going to admit it. Not, well, okay? I mean, like how many people are going to lift up and be like, look, I have no hair there. No, but celebrities... Look at that, you guys. Their hair is so stressed. They get their hair 
colored constantly because when you're shooting a movie, your yeah. hair cannot change in the, the length of your roots and stuff, and the flat ironing and the heat. So wow. celebrities' hair is really tortured, so this really helps them. Amazing. P.S. While you were doing that, I was admiring my eyeliner. Well, you did a great job. No, you too, did you know. a great job. You I was admiring your work. <laughs> no, you did a good job. <laughs> um, wow, you guys, this is amazing. So, lots of um, questions about this. Wanting to know about how it stays, as far as um, you know, is it going to get in our hands or anything? And I mean, if you're raking your fingers through your scalp mm -hmm. and stuff, it, you might get a little bit on your fingers, but but still, at least it doesn't like got the look of it hair. doesn't get on my pillow or anything oh, okay. like that. No. So I wouldn't even probably need to touch this up tomorrow. No, oh, you won't. Awesome. You could test me on that. I know, because right. guess what, guys? We're hanging out tomorrow. That's We're right. gonna film a little something, something. I'm getting a full. Makeover a tomorrow. Full beat down. <laughs> and you'll just have to wait to see which one it actually is. We're gonna have fun. This is it's gonna, be, gonna great. be awesome. You're spoiling me while you're here. I love this it. This is fantastic. So, okay, so just so you know, um, this right here you can pick up at beautyiq.com or you can call the number on your screen. And it comes with the brush, right? So remember the little side for the cream. Yep. The bigger side here okay. for the powder. So you've made it so easy for us. Thank you. And you can pay for it over the next two months, which is awesome. I want to remind you that every single item that Christopher used in the show is exclusive here to Beauty IQ and our big sister company. You can see all of those products um, from that crazy, amazing eyeliner that comes with the corrector. <laughs> That's genius, right? The eyeliner with the corrector, and then, and it's reversible, by the way. And then you got the mascara. Um, we started with the foundation. We have the uh, Enlightenment Duo. We had the lipstick, and then let's finish it off. Power lock. With... Close your eyes. There you go, baby. <gasps> That's that on. Smells amazing. You are ready to go. Be with your doggy. <laughs> I wish I had something better to tell you. That's gonna okay. stay. So here's the thing, you guys. This is also, this is called Power Lock, and you can also pick this up at beautyiq.com as well. This sets the whole look, right? Absolutely. It's been put to the test, I promise you with that. I believe it. Uh, so when you have clients like Mariah Carey, Sheryl Crow, and Kelly Ripa, I am positive that you have put these products to the test. Are you kidding? They were my, they were my lab rats. <laughs> <laughs> so we're the lucky ones. We get the finished product. I want to thank all of the chatters that have uh, joined us on Beauty IQ on the Facebook page. You guys are so loving and so positive, and thank you so much for all of your engagement and your great questions, and um, and, and just for, for your energy, truly. I mean, amazing. So everyone's like, power lock. Yes, we Isaac. love it. <laughs> this is great. Donna says she wants every single thing. Kathleen says so many great tips and tricks. You guys, that is what Beauty IQ is all about. We are so honored that you launched here with us. It's absolute pleasure. Mm, thank so you. So good to meet you. So good. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Right. That's right. All right, you guys, don't go anywhere because um, now that my makeup is set, it's time to talk about some luscious locks. It's Wednesday, and it's coming up right after this.